Before getting started for the first time when you receive the GE Logic E, you want to make sure you log in as administrator. So I'm going to skip ahead a little bit in the training to show you how to do that. Don't necessarily worry about the screens and all the stuff you're about to see. Uh, this is just to get you started, set up, and logged on as the administrator. So you'll come here and press the utility key. And you'll come up here and look for admin all the way up top. And it's going to say operator login. So you can say OK, and it will now log you on as the administrator. So we'll go here to users. And here's where you can add multiple users, and we'll show that later on. But for logon, right now, since most people will be using one user, you'll want to use auto logon. Later on, you can assign more users. But for now, this is going to make sure you don't see that admin screen every time you start up the machine. So you can hit save. And now I want you to check one more thing on the system. We want to find the software level. I'm using what's called a BT11, and your system may be an earlier or later version. So some of these screens and some of the functions may not be the same as yours. So right now, we'll go up to the screen that says System, and we'll click on the About. If you just hover over, it'll work. So this one says Logic E BT11 Build. So this tells me mine's a BT11. So if yours is an earlier version, some of these things that you see on this training might be different. So let's go ahead and click Exit. Since we have the administrator log on, and up here it says ADM, and that stands for Administrator. And if you have multiple users, that's what it's going to show. So let's get started. We'll take a look at the user interface. And this is a quick overview of all the buttons and the general uh, how to control the system. It's best to use this and view the whole thing so you understand how the system works and where the key functions are. The system is designed with what...